Hello, yes, Tommy Robinson and Phil Campion double act. That's right, Tommy Robinson has released a video wearing no shirt, no top. I'm assuming that's the early hours of this morning, was it, whatever. Um, he's released a video on Facebook attacking Phil Campion, who also released a video saying that Tommy Robinson wasn't welcome in any further. Football Lads Alliance marches, rallies, he's a racist, whatever. Tommy Robinson's responded by saying Phil Campion's caving into a little crack. It's not the usual stuff, right? But it's a double act, and I'll tell you why. Again, it reinforces Tommy Robinson's persecution status, that he is indeed enemy of the state, and everyone, including ex-SAS soldiers, are all trying, they're all out to stop him. Stop him speaking the truth and standing up for Britain and the British people. What a load of nonsense. And Phil Campion, you attacking Tommy Robinson, saying he's not welcome no more. Maybe, again, I'm only assuming, because I don't know. Maybe that's to fend off any suspicions. Um, I spoke about the other day in one of my videos that you could be working for the security services. So let's attack Tommy Robinson to fend off any suspicion. I don't know, because given you're a former SAS soldier, I find it hard in fact impossible to believe that you haven't been briefed by military intelligence to keep your eyes and ears open for those on the march that may not just want to march or a few scoops in with a spoon but may actually uh, want direct action against the enemy take the fight to the enemy i can't believe you wouldn't have been briefed for such people to listen out for them i find that impossible Right, so given that, it's highly likely Phil Campion is indeed working for the security services. And the whole seedy lot of it now all comes unfolding, doesn't it? Tommy Robinson's another one. Keep all the faithful on the high street, marching up and down. He's now a reality TV star with his mic for Rebel Media. Ezra Levin from Say No More. You know, uh, Phil Campion's there. He's, uh, you know... He's rallying, he walks the word for it, no, he's now, let me get back, there's a word for it there, but he's there now, at the helm, you know, giving his speeches to the masses, we won't surrender, and all this is nonsense, all this isn't going to stop or change anything, also what's very telling, where's the Football Association, the FA, in condemning those on the Football Lands Alliance march, that were carrying various clubs colors or coat of arms if that's the right description where is the fa well nowhere also where are any individual clubs let's say tottenham hotspurs fulham whatever millwall where are they condemning those on the football lads alliance mod carrying uh, their colors and coat of arms or at least some sort of um What's the word for it? Now, some sort of placard, let's use that word, it's not that, but some sort of placard with the club's inscription on it. Where are these individual clubs attacking them and telling them to stop it? Because we don't endorse this. They're not. They're nowhere to be seen, are they? That's also very telling. You see, the powers that be want this to take off. They want all the football lads, which is really all the football lads marching on the streets of London. It, it's not real, it is support, but it's not, it can never be turned into anything constructive. You see, years ago, the 70s and 80s, when I was involved with the National Front, we used to sell the National Front papers outside their football grounds, the Bulldog and the NF News. And later on with the British National Party, we sold the British Nationalists. But no matter how many papers we sold to football supporters who agreed with our views, they never joined, they never did anything, they never, you know, they never got involved. It was it was like support that was just there in the background but didn't do anything. It just liked to either read the papers or get in some sort of fisty cups with uh, ethnic minorities from rival football teams or whatever. So our, our enemies know, no matter how many football lads you get onto the streets of London, they will, won't, it won't materialise into anything that would worry them. And there's a big picture here. The Football Lads Alliance has an agenda. Those behind it have an agenda. I'm almost sure they are. But we'll just have to wait and see. 
But the Tommy Robinson, Phil Campion, dummy spats, it's all contrived. It's all set up by the two of them. Again, Tommy Robinson needs to enhance his persecution uh, status and also reinforce he is indeed enemy of the state. Everyone's trying to stop poor Tommy by just speaking the truth. But nothing could be further than the truth. Phil Campion could be attacking Tommy Robinson to fend off any suspicions. People may now have after my last video that he, he could be indeed working with the security services. So it's a double act either way for whatever reasons, right? Trust me, it will be, right? And like I've said, to believe Phil Campion hasn't been briefed by military intelligence to keep his eyes and ears open for those who want a little bit more than marches and piss-ups and witherspoons want a bit of direct action let's take it to the enemy to believe he hasn't been briefed to keep his eyes and ears open for such uh such people uh, would be naive to say the least he's an ex-sas soldier he's involved in all that whether or not he's retired or not I find it impossible to believe he's not, right? What his true intentions are, what he really believes, and I don't know. Maybe he is a patriot that loves his country. I'm sure he does, but it'll be in a misguided loyalty to a state that's destroying this country, right? You are no loyalty to that lot, Mr. Campion, rest assured. But anyway, the dummy spats is all contrived. The silence from the Football Association, the FA, and individual football clubs um, condemn and criticise and even ordering to stop carrying their uh, colours and coats of arms on the Football Lads Alliance is telling beyond belief. Okay, thank you. Evening. I right, for a few people to join. Do I look pissed off? It's because I am. I'll tell you why in a second. In fact, I'm fucking raging. I've just watched a video by Big Phil Campion. Phil, if you're watching this, that's my number that's been trying to ring you. I've just tried to ring you three or four times. Yeah? Now, you're ex-SAS. Of course I respect that. Everyone would respect that. But I don't respect what you've just done. And in fact, a lot of your own people don't respect what you've just done. Just read the comments, mate. Now, Phil's just done a, a live stream video where he's talking about the FLA march on Saturday. And in the live stream video, he says that, Tommy, you were told you're not welcome. Don't fucking come again. Now, Phil, just to question, uh, uh, in fact, I am going to question your integrity, actually. I don't give a fuck if you're ex or not, right? Because your integrity is something that should mean a lot to a man, okay? It should mean a lot to you. I've got a direct message from you, sent this week, saying, see you at the march on Saturday, mate. I've got that in my messages, Phil. I've got it in my messages. So this is where, do you know how powerful political correctness is? There has ex-SAS men pandering to it, pandering to stand up to racism, saying that they might be racists. I, I can't believe it, man. I can't believe it. And, and I'm so disappointed. I'm so, and you know what? This is my point. I'll go wherever I want. L Phil, if, so let me get this right, Phil. Right, Phil, let me get this right. Muslims can march with you, but I can't. Is that what you're saying? Is that your argument? Not because of anything I've said, because you've just said, because I'm labelled a racist. I'm labelled a racist. You see the labelling and the what, things you've been worrying about for, what, three months since you opened your mouth about this issue? I've been labelled with it and been competing against fake news for nine years. Nine years. I mean, I know, calm down. I've just, I'm just disappointed. I've just watched your live stream. I've just watched your live stream, man. And it's just, what are you talking about? And I've, I've just done a video for Rebel Media, and it's been viewed more. It went up an hour ago. It's been viewed more than any other media outlet's video on the march on Saturday. 
He said it on his live stream. So watch Phil, go, go on Phil Campion's last live stream. He had a live stream which was an hour ago. And I'm, I've watched it because people have said he spoke about me. So I watched it and it's lies. It's lies, man. It's lies and you, it's just, and do you know what this is? I'll tell you what this is, mate. This is what you've done and what you're doing is you're so scared by political correctness and labels. And it's not like, yeah, no, I've just got out of bed, mate. I was, I was in bed, laying in bed watching it, and I just, I'm, I'm pissed off. And, um, I was just like, and you see this whole, you're towing the line of political correctness. It's towing the line of political correctness. That's it. Yeah, what you've missed, Rob. Your teeth are red. You missed that Phil Campion, who was a speaker on Saturday's demonstration, has made a video basically saying, Tommy, fuck off. You're not allowed at our demonstration. Says who? I'll go to whatever demonstration I want to go to. And because your supporters, your supporters, you, I'll walk through your crowd next time and see what your supporters want. And I didn't want to go, I didn't go there as a demonstrator. I went there as a paid journalist anyway. But political correctness has got hold of you so much. It's got nothing to do with motives or, or, or reasons, because I know personally, because Phil, you've been direct messaging me, remember, mate? We've spoke on the phone, Phil. You agree with what I'm saying, but you're letting political correctness... In fact, you're, you're throwing me under, under a bus. You're throwing me under a bus for p p political correctness. That's what you're doing. And it's just like, that's it. Phil, Phil, and Phil, rather than making a video like that, I've made a video now, but going back on, I did try and ring you four times before I made this video. Rather than make a video, Phil, let me come and see you. Let me come and see you. Let us talk about it and let you tell me why, what I've said wrong. Because I know you ain't got nothing. You'll be like every other, every other person that does this. Oh, a racist, yeah? How's that then, mate? What have I said that's wrong then, mate? It's political correctness gone. Political correctness gone mad when you got XSAS. XSAS, worrying about the work, worrying about a label. Ah, oh, piss me right off just from going to bed. If you, I'm not that good on Facebook, so I don't even come on here that much. If you're watching, share this with Phil Camping, will you? Share this with him, and. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know, man. I'm just disappointed. More than anything. And do you know what? There's a couple of lads in... There's a couple of... been political correct things a few times within, within the lads in the FLA. But I went there on Saturday and the support base absolutely mobbed me. So that's... The people are a movement. That's what a movement is. It's the people. It's the people. Ah, man. Muslims can march with you, but Tommy Robinson can't. Fuck off, mate. I know that, Dean. Dean, I'd say 99% of the crowd, mate. 99% of the crowd. But I weren't there to march anyway. I made that quite clear. I would have been there to march. Football, lads, against extremism. Hello? Yeah, I'll go. Why wouldn't I? Phil Campion. Phil Campion's a ex-SAS soldier which I've got a lot of respect for. But as I, as I said, integrity is a big thing. Now, Phil, I've just watched your video, and I'll cut and edit it tomorrow, where you say, actually, I probably won't, because I'd just rather you answered your phone to me. I'll cut and edit it where you say, you, you've been told, you're told you're not welcome, and then I'll cut it straight to your direct message that you sent to me five days ago, saying, see you on Saturday, mate. See you on Saturday, mate. And then you... And then you pander to a few labels by a few left-wing journalists in the media. Yeah, I think he's great. You know, I, I think Phil was great. I've been watching his things. The only speech I cut to from the video I just made for Rebel Radio was Phil's speech. I, oh, this isn't, you know what, actually, I'm just disappointed. And I'm more upset after watching what he just said about me. I expect left-wing biased journalists to say it about me. 
I expect, I don't expect people on my side to say about me because of left-wing journalists. That's, I don't expect that. I don't expect that, man. No, I know you like Taylor Dane Tracy, and that's the point. Phil, let me tell you this. You don't speak for it. I'll, I'll just even not get into it, man. Phil, ring, that's my number that was ringing you. Phone my phone back. Because I'd rather you just have done that anyway than sitting there on your life. Oh, that's what I've done a video. You sat on your video talking to me. You've got my phone number. You've texted me. I've spoke to you on the phone. I've had conversations with you. You've been direct messaging me all week. Yeah, I know, yeah, it's because it's shit eyes, isn't it? And there's a Veterans Against Terrorism march on the 25th. I think Phil's going to be there. Phil, I will come and record that. I will. I'm a journalist, mate. I record whatever I want. You know the free press, that's what you defend, isn't it? I'll def record whatever I want. And then if you've got people say, you know, like, I had some people like say, oh, they're a bit worried about Tommy Robinson reporting on it. You're worried about me reporting on it, but you're not worried about The Guardian <laughs> or the BBC. Like, I'm turning up to do a hatchet job on your sake. Now, anyone else, please just, um... Block from seeing his post. Nah, anyway. Anyone, anyone who's watched, please watch the video I've, I've shared, the, live, the, the video I've put up on, um, on my Facebook page from the FLA demonstration on Saturday. It's an amazing demonstration. Massive. Absolutely massive. Yeah, but Tom, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Because all to my face, I just don't get it. We'll have to watch Big Fields as I thought he was the kind of guy to follow. So did I, Gary. I actually think that other people, because I, I do know there's a couple of people in that background, uh, have, have put him and, and, and wound him up. That's what I'm think, That's the only thing I can put it down to. Because, as I said, I've got a direct message of him saying to me this week, I'll see you on Saturday, mate. And then I'm watching him, watching him on, on a video, telling me to fuck off. Phil, man. Disappointed. No, he's done it. No, he's done it, Alice. So have I. He's done it. I've watched it. I've watched it. And it's just like... I never expected an SAS warrior, which is what he is, because I'm not going to take... It is what he is. To be that bothered about a little label for left-wing biased journalists. That the same label they use against them. <laughs> you know what I mean? You talk about Islam, mate. It's exactly the same job. You know what I mean? I don't pander to political correctness. I don't. I, I, I think it's very important to tell the truth. I'll always tell the truth. You might try and phrase it a bit better because you're worried about a label. I don't give a shit about a label. And I know the public don't anymore. The British public are ready. And they should be educated on what Islam is. I'm not on what... And, I, and, I, and, and that's fine. You go down that road. I haven't said anything about it. If you want to talk about terrorism, you talk about terrorism. We know, I know you're on about Islam. Me and you have spoke, remember? I know what you're talking about. You're not allowed to speak. Oh, man, I just, um... I thought it was all against terrorism. Apparently, everyone can stand against terrorism apart from Tommy Robinson. He can fuck off. Muslims, you can come and stand with us. That's what, that's what Phil said. Phil's, that's Phil's, that's Phil's invo invitation there. Muslims, you come and stand with us. But Tommy Robinson, oh, you've spoke about Islam. We don't want you there, because you're labelled a racist. For real. For real? I, I can't believe a member of the SS is bothered by labels. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Now, I've, I, Phil, listen to this. I've never been to your demonstration, to the first FLA one. I've not been associated with it at all, okay? And the Home Office prevented a man from flying in from Holland because he was going to a far-right extremist demonstration. I've never been there, mate. So labels ain't nothing to do with me. They're going to label you that anyway. In fact, all I went for on Saturday was to counter that argument. I went to counter that label, Phil. 